new vlog up, new vlog alert. As I promised, I'll be doing a vlog a month um, this year. So I was waiting to post this in March, but the beginning of March has been hectic. So this March you'll have two vlogs up. It's been a really, really busy beginning of March, Pisces season. It's been crazy everywhere around the world. You know, things are happening. There's Ukraine and Russia fighting. So I think it's been really hectic and the universe is picking that up. But again, we keep pushing. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. Let me know your feedback. Let me know uh, what you'd like to see more. Uh, please comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe. I really appreciate your support. This year, I'm really looking forward to the silver button. So yay to 100k subscribers. There'll be a really big giveaway. So be on the lookout. So this month's theme was getting out of my comfort zone in terms of networking, going for events. I've really shied away over the years not to go for events. I really enjoy just my space, creating in my space, which is an office, it could be a different location, but just my space. But I challenge myself this year to go out there, network, meet people, and just try to build a brand in terms of meeting other influencers, sharing ideas, attending the events, and also learning from them physically and creating that connection and relationship. Because I really feel um, it's a field where you have to have uh, relationships to learn together so this was the month of trying new things and I went out to a few events I think so far there have been three or four uh, number one was Kitikiari's uh, Bodua event I hope I'm pronouncing the word properly I went for the white party hey guys I'm here at trademark I came for kids Bodua event as you can see the ladies are having fun so I have another event in the afternoon, but I'll start here. And I'm glad I went. I like the fact that Kit had it from 10 a.m. to 2. Her mom was there. We learned a lot. It was very eye-opening. I really, really wished I had such advice when I was just getting into a serious relationship into marriage. But again, it's never too late. I could relate. And I was glad to see young women who are present learning from other women we had even women in their 50s and so we learned a lot and i'm so grateful for kids for such an event it was actually worth my time we learned how to manage relationships with your partner how to look for your own happiness how to put yourself first and how no one asked the woman to sacrifice and live their life on the cross and then at the end of it you all you become bitter you become annoyed at the kids and your partner because you forgot yourself in the relationship you can have both and it was a really good reminder thank you kit for uh, the invitation thank you for creating the event but as usual no event is without its issues definitely my social anxiety came to play i really tried to sleep early I had to go on time because kid doesn't joke with typekeeping. It was white event, so there were two outfits. The thing is the outfits came on Friday night and even on Saturday. But good thing is I ordered two. One was big and then the other one I thought was a dress and it came a bodysuit and a skirt. So I had to cut up the bodysuit. You'll see it here with scissors, but it worked and people really liked the ensemble and they liked the outfit. So yeah these events are not perfect so they're usually the behind the scenes which you don't get to see and i'll be shooting more of that um definitely traffic on saturday moving around town but all in all it went well and i think i'm learning a few tips on social anxiety you know one of them is um getting enough rest preparing yourself mentally trying also to try different things and at the end of the day once you relax it's actually not that hard to talk to people so I'm learning to find ways to cope and anyone who has social anxiety or who is an introvert and struggles being out there especially networking please share the tips you have learned over the years and your experiences I think in the world of today we really are behind the scenes which is a computer it's a zoom calls so that one-on-one -on -one connection interaction is um, dwindling it's becoming less and less and so we are not practicing that muscle so let me know your experiences and anyone who's faced this and overcome I would appreciate any tips on the same day I had another event which is Dr. Sule's Alora Medical Center second year anniversary I had to go for this one I've seen Dr. Sule from the first month when she opened her clinic I've seen her growth it was during COVID times um, I've learned a lot from her in terms of reproductive health She's really opened me up to try new things. I'm very adventurous. 
but she's really pushed me and I've learned more about myself, take, taken control of uh, my reproductive health. I've done a few procedures, we we'll link some of the videos here. So I had to go for this event to her baby's second birthday. I had to be honest, I was moving from village market home then to Mawimbi in CBD. So there, there was a time constraint and instead of arriving by, I think, 1.30, I arrived at 3. But then I didn't give up, um, changed the outfit. My second outfit was a black dress with uh, gold sleeves, which I had already, so that was not an issue. It went really well when I arrived at Mawimbi. It was more public than village market, so the anxiety levels were a bit high. And I think I had a challenge and it took time for me to relax. But then eventually I did. And the good part, it was already past four. We had a bit of liquid confidence. I had my gin and tonic and it helped. And I think by this time I had come down by the first event, so kids event really helped. It was lovely seeing women supporting each other. Uh, Dr. Sule launched a new um, machine in the market and it was nice to see women in business doing their own thing and um, being resilient during this COVID time. They're not giving up. And the thing is most of them were moms, most of them were wives and just again it reinforced the morning event of putting yourself first and not putting your other aspects of life on hold. And I think this is truly the month of women is the month celebrate women so i think it's a good reminder it's a good reminder to focus on your dreams what you love doing focus on you and i think as much as it was hectic it reminded me that it took me back to what did i want for myself and took me back to keep pushing even if it's hard even if sometimes you don't actually make money in the first five years of your business you know it takes time to get return on investment persevere and it also showed me ask for help when i saw those women at the table in those two events that day, I realized, ask, and it is a thing I struggle with. Ask for women, ask for support, ask for help, reach out, and I think that's another good reminder. I'd like to know from you women, is it easy to get support from your women friends, from your sisters, from your society? Um, are you able to ask for help? Are you able to ask your friends to come support your business? Are you able to even share what you do to earn a living, because I think sometimes as women we shy away, so let me know. Before I move on uh, to the other third event of the month, the deco was lovely, Planet Play Kenya did not come to play, and I remember my first interaction with, with, with her was at my event, Step Mom's Branch, that's Tears and Garden. She really did a good event, and just again, to see other women supporting each other, the fairy lights, the flowers was amazing. And also another thing I noted, the women I, I saw at uh, Step of the Branch were invited, were also there at the event. So again, women, kudos for supporting each other. We can do more and let's ask for help and support and not shy away. Dr. Sule made me give a speech. Looking back, I don't think I did my best because then anxiety kicked up again. And the thing with social anxiety is that if you realize I talk really fast, my thoughts run fast because also it's part of my personality. But with the added with the anxiety, my thoughts get really muddled up. And then I go ahead of myself because my mind thinks faster than <laughs> my mouth can remove the words. So what happens with someone's social anxiety when you go home and then you replay the speech, you beat yourself up a lot. Like, I should have said it, I should have said this. I wasn't organized. Maybe I would have said in a better way. So that's also something else that you need. I learned from that day from giving the speech. Don't beat yourself too much if things don't go the way you want. Um, it takes personal experience. We're not all good orators. If you are funny, if you have real life experiences, use it. Put them in there to give you time to organize your thoughts. I think for me, I do make jokes. I'm funny if I say so myself, if I get to relax, people who know me. Um, so I think I'll be using that tip. And I also think I can go for public speaking because now I'm in this space. Get to learn how to speak slower, articulate myself better. And not, I have to appreciate not everyone speaks as fast. So sometimes people miss my words and um, my words tend to get lost. And then the quality of the speech or the meat the content for the speech guest gets missed out as you can see now this is my struggle for speaking fast so yeah that's another lesson i learned through the speech on that day third event or let's say third new thing i tried was i did an article with 
Vini, who's a capital lifestyle editor of 25 questions. It was at the tribe. I traded the new Jiko restaurant. It's really lovely. The menu is really nice. It's African with a twist. I don't know if it's modern or it's Japanese, Korean, but it's really nice. I loved the menu. Try it out once you get a chance. I did the 25 questions. Hope you read the article. I'll attach it here. So that was my third new thing of the month. I think I should, uh, another side of myself, more relaxed. I love the fact that it was questions. So what I meant is it, I recorded and then really transcribed. So that was not a lot of pressure. But still, the cameras were on. And I, actually, I was really exhausted because of the week's activities. So that was another new thing. I hope you've read the article. Let me know your thoughts in a comment below. And just a little bit of encouragement. Whenever you try something new or when you do things in life, try not to be too hard on yourself. Again, if being too hard on yourself was working, we would have worked a long time ago. Be gentle on yourself. I remember, um, I've seen this reel or a video. I will definitely share it. This person was saying, um, be kind on yourself. The way you talk to your friend, talk to yourself like that. So be gentle. Not to a point that you don't move or take action, but don't be too harsh on yourself especially when it comes to trying new things. So I'm here to commit to trying new things for myself and for you guys and for growth in general. You know, growing personally, growing in this space, growing in the social media space and evolving. So yeah, be gentle on yourself. Fourth final event, which was today, was a Springfield and Women's Secrets Village Market branch. You guys know that I have been working for them. I think this is the second year. So they're opening a new branch at Village Market. And the thing is, I think they had mentioned, but then I forgot with all that was happening. So today was quite hectic because you can see change of hairstyle. Please give me your feedback, be nice. So I was going in the morning to spritz to do my hair. Then I remembered I had to do makeup. Zilania's been unwell. I had to go to Bandari Beauty, which then necessity is a matter of invention. I ventured into Bandari Beauty. I was going to buy my products. I wish I carried them, I left them at home. So I was going to buy my products and I realized my team told me, you know what, she does have a makeup artist so you can do your makeup there. And it's a safe building at Greenhouse. So I popped it to Bandari Beauty, got my products, did my makeup by a lady called Sheila. I will attach it here. And these are the results many hours later. <laughs> Let's go to the <laughs> I'm here to do makeup after a spritz from Sheila. So she's also called Sheila without an E. I will link her page here. She did such wonderful makeup. She tried. Even with the forehead, she may be looking nice. <laughs> so we'll link her page and then get in touch. And if you're ever in Greenhouse Mall and you want to book her, please make sure you call and call in advance. Let's just say hi to Maureen very quickly. And she doesn't know you're saying hi very quick. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. She, she always give me good service. I'm living here with the glasses, makeup product. Yay. It's worth the trip. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, if you want to make a book in advance, no care device products. Oh yeah, by the way, we don't give uh, products just in house. Mm. Look after at your skin. After who you wish you wanted some things from here, yeah, why do you need them? Yes. <laughs> Look at her skin, it's <laughs> <really>. <laughs> I'm taking. She's very passionate about skin, so she's not telling you what she hasn't tried. Yeah. And it's not on Instagram, you see how she's working hard. <laughs> <laughs> Went home, rushed the event at Village Market. It was really nice. I bought myself a few outfits, but then again, social anxiety as usual. When I got there, I psyched myself. And you know, because of adrenaline moving through the day, I can really honestly say today was not easy. I think March has been tough. I don't say it's a ghetto because you're surviving, you're alive, but it's been tough. So I struggled today. And then when I went there, wore my mask when I got there, I had. Kagwe had announced no masks, so I removed which was good for my makeup, but then now, I don't even know if anyone is experiencing this. The makeup was, the mask was good for covering up, and then my face is there, so I feel exposed, and then I don't have my wig. So there goes me, no mask, new hairstyle, forehead gang, uh, yeah, clearly guys, I know that wearing this over time has moved my edges, so it was quite exposing, which didn't help with my anxiety, but I managed. Mike was there, really helped me and boosted me because he's an extrovert and really good with people. So I shopped, uh, hung out a bit. Sorry for the noise, guys, but as you can see, I'm 
having a little bit of fun, dress up. I'm at the newly opened Springfield Women's Secret Branch at Village Market. Please make sure to come get your dresses, your sleepwear before the sessions run out, guys. It's a madhouse. I love this dress, but I think Mike and the team like the yellow one. Let me know uh, what's your choice. But trust me, I'm getting them both. Um, that was my day, then I had to do a few errands, rush to the office and shoot this outro for you. I look exhausted, but it's part of the job. And so I cannot not wait to travel. I'm traveling from next week and I think it's a well-deserved break. I'm traveling to different countries. My travel start. April is usually my birthday month, so my biggest gift to me is traveling. I really am more big on parties or the attention. That's just my personality. So when the travel starts, I will try my best. And I promise my team to vlog and give you guys a travel vlog. I am not here. Don't call me out. This is not a commitment. Okay, to some point. I will try. Like I said, trying new things. So I'll, try, I'll try to vlog and show you a bit of the travel and try to rest and get a break off from work. Which is not another thing which I need to work on. I really... I'm addicted to working in my work, so I'll do my best to share my travels and to update you on what's happening. That's it guys for this vlog for half of March. See you in another time zone. You have to watch the next vlog to see where I'll be. I'm really, really hoping that I'll do the next vlog. Travel vlog, that means I'm going to shoot on my own, which is not easy. Again, it's all about trying new things, getting out of your comfort zone. Let me know if you like this vlog. Let me know if you could relate to some of the things I'm speaking about on this vlog. Please comment, share, like, subscribe and thank you very much for the support.